Hello and welcome. Today we're going to fix an issue with Teleport and NDI. I get a lot of questions about how to fix the black screen that occasionally happens. So we'll get into how to fix that, what you need to do, and all that good stuff. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so Teleport and NDI, right? Both of them good for like uh, streaming without a capture card, two PC setups. You can sometimes make it work with the console, whatnot. But sometimes when you open up OBS, like if you have to redo your computer and stuff like that, and I get a lot of questions about this in my Discord that I've uh, I've helped several people fix this issue. So we're just gonna put this out here and show you what you need to do to get it fixed. So we're gonna go ahead and open up OBS, right? Let me turn this display capture off here. So when you have NDI and OBS or NDI and teleport, they're up here, right? You're, you have NDI and I've got to install teleport really quick. So if you have to reinstall teleport, I don't got a video on this that I'll, I'll, I'll link up top or in the description, but you can either drop the, the OBS teleport, the, the dynamic or the DLL in the uh, plugin folder, or you can just go ahead and hit click with this. Click this button right here and then just hit run. Now, this is usually what causes the issue, your firewall. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can tell it, you know, give it the access it needs. If you're using the... Uh, method where you're just dropping it in the uh, in the plugin folder, you may not see this and it may block the actual program. So we're gonna go ahead and hit more info and we're gonna run anyway, because we, we, we know that it's uh, a good application. Yes. And again, we're just going through the install just to show you that um, this is the case. All right. So just for, the sake of doing this right, close down OBS and open it back up just to show you that teleport is there. See, teleport is there. So we've got, um, let's go ahead and turn off NDI for right now because it, it works the same way and teleport. So for teleport specifically, you have to click it to enable it, right? Identifier you know, give it a name. And then this port right here, you need to make this port, I would say make it port 1000 um, and then click okay. Now, if that port's not open on your firewall, you're not gonna see anything on your screen on the, on the other computer. I'm gonna hop over to my other computer, I'm gonna show you this. So we've got teleport on, right? It's on, it's going through port 1000. It's, it's sending the video over to my other computer. So let's jump over to my other computer and I'll show you this. Okay, so here we are on my other computer, right? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a teleport. We're gonna go ahead and add a teleport. Sorry, let's say okay. And as you can see from refreshing the list, that that is not there. It's not there. I can refresh this how many ever times I want. It's not there. So, and as you can see on the screen, nothing is showing up for the teleport. It's right here. We can blink it out. There's nothing, right? It's the top. So, obviously something is blocking it. So, let's go back and configure the firewall to get this to work like it should be. And no blank screen, no bl black screen or whatever, nothing coming through. Obviously, you can see something coming through right now because I do have a capture card and this is showing my um, display capture, but nothing with teleport, as you can see. Nothing on the list. You can refresh it all I want. I could turn this, I could shut this down, um, open it back up, and it's still not going to show anything until we open up that firewall. So we'll get to that here in just a second. Let me hop back over to my other computer. 
And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and open up the firewall settings. Go to your start bar and just go to Windows Defender. All right, so Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Go ahead and turn that. And we're gonna go in here to inbound rules. Two things you need to know here. One, OBS should be um, allowed, right? As you can see right here, OBS Studios is not allowed. You see this circle with the red thing through it? So we need to, we need to change that. She so says block this connection. Go ahead and allow this connection. Apply. Click OK. That should allow um, OBS to to come through. Now, if you need if you need to make it or you don't see that there, we'll get to that here in just a second. But you need to also check your outbound rules. Which I'm not seeing any OBS in my outbound rules, so. Best way to do this is go ahead and click on your new rule. We're gonna go with the program. You have these four options, program, port, predefined, or custom. Right now, you're just going to use the program and the port for OBS, specifically since it's a program, we're gonna use program right now. Click next, and then you can go all programs, don't do that, because <laughs> that lets all programs through your firewall. Um, use the program path, and you go ahead and click browse, and then we're going to go into your PC, your C drive. Usually it's going to be under program files, 86 or program files. We're just going program files, OBS studios, bin 64 bit, and then OBS 64 and go ahead and click open. Next, see it's a block this connection. You have allow this connection if it's secure. Um, if you're over your, if you're at your home network, most of the time it's secure if you're doing things right. So just allow the connection and then click next. I would say don't allow it with public, but again, if you're on a desktop, it's where and when is it really gonna go public? So you can just keep all of these or you can just go domain and private if you want. It's, your, it's up to you, it's your security on your computer. Go ahead and hit next and then you name it. And then we go ahead and click finish. Now your uh, OBS is through the firewall. F to do a port with regards to like NDI um, and teleport, which use specific ports, you can actually get a little more granular about that. And we're gonna go back into the firewall with advanced security. We're gonna do a connection rule, new rule, and we're gonna go with port, click next. Teleport uses UDP as its uh, talking protocol. It's a little bit quicker when you're sending video and stuff like that. You, you might wanna do both of these just in case, but um, for right now, we'll just do UD, UDP and then spe specify the local ports or specific local ports with, in this example is 1000 because that's what we used for teleport, right? One, zero, 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 hit next. Allow this connection, click next. Same thing as what you did when you had the uh, setting up the program. Hit next, and we're gonna say teleport. Uh, teleport port 1000, and that's the name of it. You wanna click finish. Now, after you create the inbound rule, you need to, or after you create the inbound rule, you need to create an outbound rule. So where, it can receive and send information. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on new rule, do the same thing again, port, next, UDP, 1000 for your specific port. Allow this connection, next, next, teleport, port, 1000, out and click finish. That's what you need to do for uh, programs that aren't uh, working properly, uh, that, that can't connect, have a network connectivity issues. Uh, with, with, with regards to NDI, same thing. You need to find out what port it's using. 
or you can just allow the NDI uh, application. I think it's that like a 533 right now and let that through your firewall so it can talk back and forth to your other computer. You have to have this port and these things open on both computers to make them communicate or to allow them to communicate. So we're gonna hop back over to the other computer and start up NDI again. So as you can see, right here, right? Let's hop back over to the other computer really fast. Okay, so here we are back at the other computer. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and create another one, or you can just go into the one you already created. Um, I deleted the other one just to just to show that, you know, we're actually doing the things that we need to be doing. So teleport three, right? Click OK. Refresh list. Now, now you've got something in your fresh your refresh list, right? Oh, look, we've got our game PC. And our teleport shows up. Go ahead and click OK. Spam this out really fast. And now, as you can see, we've got teleport working. This is my other computer on this one. So there you go. This works with Teleport, it works with NDI, it actually works with um, a lot of other programs that don't that, that may have communication issues, you open a, a port for your firewall. Video games, this can help go uh, get you from like a uh, moderate NAT, strict NAT, or open, depending on how you do the ports, port forwarding. Um, if this doesn't help, there is another hardware fix to this, which is just going ahead and buying another uh, router, like a home router, to plug into your ISP's stuff and using that as your uh, hub for stuff that connects. With regards to the ISP, sometimes they let you have the ability to do like port forwarding and opening ports and closing ports. Some of them do, some of them don't. So, I mean, you have to uh, consult with your ISP about that. But anyway, um, this is... The fix for, you know, that blank screen or opening up, redoing your computer, just whatever, whatever the needs may be with regards to your firewall and, and OBS and just getting it to work or communicate without the capture card. Um, like I said in previous videos, if you have any questions, best place to reach me is either Twitter or um, my Discord. I have the Discord on me at all times. So uh, if you have questions, go ahead and uh, link up in the Discord. That's in the description. Uh, the Twitter's in the description. And uh, I hope this helps, and we'll see you on the next one.